Okay, this is Ringwalk Media. We're over in Liverpool. We've managed to catch up with Meatball Molly. How are you? Not bad, boss man. It's a great day. It's a Friday. It's the weigh-ins and all the fighters get to eat and drink. Yeah, and they've looked uh, on point with the weights. Um, Liam looks especially good. Uh, how do you think that fight's going to go, being the lead event? Um, I obviously train with Liam, know a lot about him. I think the win will come in the first six rounds. I think he'll get a finish for us and he'll do it in, in good fashion as well. Yeah, his last fight out in New York, we were both there. Um, and he, he had a massively good fight. You know, he was technically brilliant. I don't think this guy's going to last more than three rounds in there. You know, do you think he's going to go at him? Mm, I think you can come to Liverpool and the crowd completely changes things. Um, I feel like I'm probably giving maybe a bit too much respect saying the first six rounds, but Beefy might just want a little bit more time in there um, and give the crowds what they're paying for. But um, yeah, it's just it's a, it's a home run for Beefy. I think he'll um, classic him, go to the body, come back upstairs, finish on the head. And obviously uh, Natasha Jonas trying to unify the belts. We had a chat with her on Monday over in the gym. She seems very positive. She looked good out there as well. I mean, but, but you know, her opponent's 15 and 0. She's a world champion. It's going to be a tough fight, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's going to be one of the hardest, tougher fights of her career. But to quote the, the queen herself, um, you need to keep on raising your goals and pushing and pushing and pushing. So she doesn't want to fight bums. She wants to fight the best that there is. And she wants as many belts as she can get now. And, it was a joke, wasn't it? She said until 35 or until the first world title and something like that. But I don't know. I think she's still got a lot, a lot of good days ahead of her left and a lot of big fights. She she doesn't take much damage. She's in these fight of the night and fight of the years um, contenders, but she doesn't take much damage. So um, she's still got a long way to go if she wants it as well. Yeah, I don't think she's finished here, especially if she wins tonight. I think uh, Miss Tate, Katie Taylor might be on her sights. Um, she mentioned that might be uh, might be second time round for her. And also, third there's a time. yeah, third time. <laughs> third time in fact. Yeah, you're right. Um, and a young lad called Clark Smith, also from Joe Gallagher's gym, he's making his debut. I mean, what advice could you give to Clark for you know coming out to that Liverpool crowd? Because you've done it yourself. It's a big crowd, isn't it? What's going on, boss? I won't. I'll come and find you. Um, sorry, the boss man. Um, possibly right, the future bench. boss man, who yeah. knows? Um, it's a young man come out there um, taking the crowds, because you never normally get a crowd like that in the amateurs. Enjoy it, don't rush it, take your time. And uh, and the North West are behind you. Liverpool's still behind the Manx, it's still the North West, so big love little man. And shout out Frankie Stringer from Rotunda. And shout out our Lacey, um, all the scouts is bringing home a win. And obviously, just finally, we just wanted to touch on your Knives Down, Gloves gloves Up campaign. Getting a lot of air in at the moment. It's really, really good cause. And, you know, you're pushing forward with that. What advice could you give to people that want to get involved? Um, if you have a little look on the Instagram or on our website, Weapons Down, Gloves Up, everything's there. Whether you want to sponsor, whether you want to... Um, throw companies towards us you might want to offer our young people a job whether you want to get involved and be um, a, a member of the course come and have a go um, Box has got behind us Ben's got behind us we're just trying to change the kids lives in this city it will go nationwide it will go everywhere but right now we need this is where it needs the most help at the minute and we need to we need to change we need to get rid of the scum out the city and we need to give the kids an opportunity what they're not getting and, and that's it. Free, eight week course, come and get a quality, come and get a job for life and come and learn an amazing sport that is boxing. Yeah, here, here, well said. And what about yourself? You uh, have a little rest, are you going to get back in soon? Oh, I'm in lads, I'm, um, I had a week off, that's yeah. all I had. Um, November 12th, Madison Square Garden, I'm out. I'm actually in New York that week. Shut up, are you? Well, yeah. I'm on holiday. Come and have a watch. I'm now not on holiday. Yeah, now you're now not on holiday. Um, now it's going to be a belter, lad. I was there for Beefy. Obviously, my coach, my my team is his team. Um, I roll in their circles, and I don't know. We've got a um, we've got a good record there, so it's only right that I keep it going as well. Well, listen, we wish you luck with that. We'll see you there, as they say. And thank you so much for your time. No problem. Up the toffees. <laughs>